Hi everybody, my name is Laura and for my video today I'm going to teach you about how hair color works. So to start this off, hair color works just the same as all other colors. So we're going to go back to kindergarten class to learn how colors work. So everybody knows primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. Any color out there that you can see is made up of a combination of those, all of them, or those with some, you know, white or black thrown in them. And that's the same as your hair. Your hair is made up of the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. So, and depending on how light or dark your hair is, you have a different combination of those colors in your hair. So say if you have black hair, you have a lot of all of those hair colors. If you're a redhead, you don't really have any blue in your hair. And if you're a blonde, you don't really have any blue or red in there. You just have the yellow in there. So, and as you know, with regular colors, if you want to have a different color, say like, say you're painting a picture and you want to make some purple, you need to mix red and blue together to make your purple. Same if you want green, say you want a forest green, you're going to do a lot of blue and a little bit of yellow. And if you want to have a lime green, you're going to do a little bit of blue and a lot of yellow because the different combinations make different things. So, say you have brown hair and you want to be a blonde. With hair color, it's not just taking one color and replacing it with another. You're doing a give and take. So you're taking out color to get lighter ones and you're putting color in there to get darker ones. So you want to go to a light color. If you've got your brown hair, you need to take out pigment from your hair to get it to this lighter color. So the first thing that happens, say you're going to start lightening your hair. So you just have like brown, plain brown hair, regular. First, say you put your color on and you're going to skim off that blue. Okay, the blue color is the first to go, it's really easy to break, big molecules, pff, gone. So, and what gets exposed is a red hair, red, okay, because it's bigger than your yellow, it's going to overpower, and when you start lifting some more, you're going to take off those red, and you're going to start exposing orange, because now you're letting that yellow show through, and red and yellow, your two primary colors that are in your hair after you've taken the blue, make orange. So, you ever have it where you color your hair, your friend colors your hair, and it turns really orange red, and you're like, I have a lot of red in my hair. That's because everybody has red in their hair, and that's just what happens, and you haven't been able to cover that up enough. So, you keep taking that out, take out your red, you've got orange, it's becoming brighter, brighter, brighter orange, and it's starting to turn yellow because you've taken away all of your red pigment. Now you're just left with yellow, and you got really, really yellow hair. So you keep taking, you keep taking, you keep taking, and to get up to a really nice soft blonde, you are taking out all the pigment out of your hair, so your hair is pretty well empty of pigment. And that's why it gets dry, that's why it can get brittle, because you're taking everything out of your hair. So now you've got the nice blonde hair. Now say you want to go back, you don't like it, you're sick of it, you want to be brown. You've taken everything out of your hair, and you can't just go and put brown right on your hair, because brown is a color, but you're not filling it up with anything. And yes, it's got those three primary colors in there that your hair needs, but you need to really replace what you took out. So, I just colored my hair. I'm going a little bit darker for autumn. So what I did was I wanted to go just like a soft brown color, like a light one. So what I did was I picked my color, which was like, you know, a light brown, and then I picked a really, really golden one because I need to replace all that yellow that I took out of my hair. So I picked a golden brown. I don't want my hair golden brown, but this is what I need to do. So my golden brown, and then because I've also taken all the red out of my hair and the copper that's in there, I put a copper in there. So to make my hair a neutral brown from blonde, I took brown, I added orange, and I added yellow to it, and a ton. And when I put it on my hair, it neutralized out because my hair needed those colors put back in there for it to be able to take the brown and look normal. So, say if you didn't do that, if I had just put brown right on there and maybe I decided I wanted ashy color, ash is blue, right? So I want an ashy brown hair because I don't want it gold. Keep the gold away from me. You go, my blonde hair is still yellow, and then you put blue on it. And what does yellow and blue equal? Green! And that's how you end up with green hair, is because people are putting ashy things on there. You're not, you're taking away, you're not replacing properly, you're mixing your colors wrong. So when you color your hair, you need to think of your hair and the colors that are in it, not just the color that you want. So you have to look at it, what is in my hair, what colors are absent, what colors are present, and what color do I need to put on there to make it the right one. 
Sometimes, you know, somebody has red hair and they want brown. You know, I gotta put brown and you have to put so much of those other colors to counteract it. Green, 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 green. Right? To brown it out. So, it's tough. If you wanna go really dark, you just wanna put like black in your hair, then you're just throwing like pigment, 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 putting a ton in there. But then when you need to take it out, you have so much pigment in your hair that it's hard to take it out. So, yeah. Anyway, that's a little bit of a basis of how color works. It gets a lot more complicated than that, but once you really understand that color is just, you know, adding and subtracting different colors and mixing it around, it starts making a lot of sense. You know, you can go and sometimes I just think about when I'm painting a picture or I'm coloring, you know, with crayons or something, and I try to think of what color combinations are going to work with that, what's going to cover over top of what. I find crayons are a good one because, you know, you can't color a yellow crayon over top of a black crayon, right? And that's the same with hair color. You can't put something lighter over top of something darker because it's just not going to show up. So I use color theory from, you know, school when I was really young and apply it to hairdressing and I find it really works and I'm able to get the colors that I want. But really, you should just go to somebody trusted who knows what they're doing because you can totally screw up your hair still. But anyway, that's a little bit of how color works. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!